Uh, my name is Zogo Pakeda and I currently work um, as a sales team leader. Okay, a team leader is predominantly in charge of a, um, a team of um, 10 to 12 agents and um, the main function is to ensure that the guys are meeting the daily um, sales targets. The other one, which is quite um, extensive, would be ensuring that um, admin work is done. Okay, I started working in the call center industry in 2004, so it would be um, 10 years this year in November. Um, the first thing would be you need to enjoy talking. It needs to be an ability of yours because um, that's what we do the most and you need to be tolerant of um, a lot of change constantly. You need to be able to um, adapt to that very easily. And um, you need to take instruction quite well because that's all it's about. Most people who don't make it in the call center are people who can't deal with all the different instructions and the things that they need to do and that's basically our, our lives. Um, it's actually quite a funny story. I, after my pick, I went to a university. Uh, that didn't work out really well. Uh, the second year I actually quit. So I needed to find a job. I, I was struggling, looking at every single thing. I worked at the post office, sweeping the post office, and then I worked at um, Albany Bakery before I left school at um, university. And then I started looking um, at jobs on the paper and my cousin was working at a call center. And then from there, with the, with the organization, and I got the job the same, the same day. And that's, that's basically, it wasn't a thing of, oh, I want to work in call centers, it was a thing of I needed to make a living. The difference was once I started, I picked up very quickly that I'm pretty good at it. It's a unique environment. Um, as in, what is required of you is very specific and very demanding. And like I said, the rules. Um, I started in customer service and now I'm in sales. I'm trying to learn um, as much as I can. I'm always trying to see if I can do it. I never thought I could do sales and I've been doing it successfully for quite some time now as well. I'll be very honest. I'm the kind of manager who, who gives people an opportunity first before I start using the other different uh, management styles. So in other words, I will at first set up what I want, my expectations and what their expectations are of me. Thereafter, let them do and meet the expectation. I will only come in when it comes to a lot of um, team leaders are all about documentation. What are you doing immediately? I do that. I give a person an opportunity first to show me that they can do it themselves. And I've seen that it works because as soon as you um, trust people to, to, to do what's right, as long as you communicate how they're doing on, on, on a regular basis, then you won't go wrong. It's, 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 it's just how I do things. I'm, I'm more focused on people and I want everybody to succeed so how I manage, I manage by their success, not by my success. And I think that um, that really rubs very well onto people because it's, 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 I care for them and, and I show them exactly how to, to be successful and it makes um, my job very easy.